All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I've passed up the Apogee because I'm going to fire my re-entry burn right here, and hopefully that makes this side, the opposite side of where I'm at, uh, fall in closer, and then I'm hoping that this means that then I can adjust this enough where I would re-enter about here. Uh, we'll see. I'm not going to be too specific because I am running a little bit low on fuel, so let's once again orientate ourselves. I'm doing this wrong. Yep, that's the wrong way. Okay, I'll just spin around. Hopefully these guys don't get sick. <laughs> God, Jebediah, you're crazy! A nice, graceful spin of our spacecraft. All right, come on, kick, 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 kick. There we go, and enable the SAS. All right, uh, we're still going at one per. Okay, all right. Let me make a little bit of a gentle firing of the engines and see what that does to our orbit. Okay, that's doing it. Okay. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, let me shut off the engines here. Okay, that did about what I wanted it to. Uh, I'm gonna wait once again till about where... maybe here? What is that? Oh, uh, that actually might be a little bit low. <laughs> I might start to re-enter right there. Um, hmm. Alright, I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to flip around, and with what limited fuel I have, I'm going to speed up a little to kind of... kind of, uh, correct that I've... I'm coming down not exactly where I want to. Okay, let me throttle up a little bit, keeping an eye on the fuel at all times. Okay, whoa, that's way too much, thank you. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to wait till I'm, say, maybe here to do another re-entry burn, so I'll bring you back in when I get there. <laughs> Space flight, it's exciting. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back, and if I can take a look at the orbit here, I'm I'm coming up on the lowest part of the orbit, so I'm going to do another burn, and hopefully that will put me somewhere in this ocean. I'll be okay with this ocean, but this is my my home nation where I've launched from off the coast here. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna see if this can work, and if I can get a little bit more precise with my my landings, <laughs> or lack thereof. So let me actually orientate myself properly. Woo! Alright, very nice. And right there, should be good enough. Let us with what limited fuel we have again. Very nice. Very nice. That's good. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Keep doing that. And... Come on. Oh god, I have so little fuel left. Okay, that is good. That is exactly what I wanted. Uh, so, uh, with uh, <laughs> with what little, very little drops of fuel I have left, uh, I think, regardless if I just went in, that would be enough where I would get close enough to the atmosphere where it would slow me down, and I would re-enter somewhere. But uh, let me... 
Let me tweak things here, and hopefully, with the little fuel that I have left, I can... Actually, let me see if I can do anything about this with the RCS. I don't think it's powerful enough, but... Uh, okay, the height right there is 23, so with the RCS, I am going to do that. Eighteen. Oh, wow. Those RCS things have a lot more power than I anticipated. Yeah, let me do that again. Yeah, because I'm, I'm noticing I'm barely using any of this RCS fuel. I suppose that'll be more important later on versions of the game where you have to maneuver to dock or land uh, or, you know, adjust your orbit and things like that. But, uh, but yeah, let's... Uh, this is H I'm pushing. Let's do that again. Yeah, I can see it's slowing me down in the orbit meters per second. Mark me now to 10. And let's do a little bit more of that. Cool. That should be enough to bring me in. Uh, let me do this to get more situated. And uh, yeah, let's let's fast forward a bit and we can see where this puts us for reentry. All right, we're back, and we have a wonderful sunrise here over the horizon of Kerbis, Kerbin, Kerbin, Kerbin or Kerbis, one of the two. Uh, we're, we're situated for a pinpoint splashdown off the coast of our launch nation. I don't know what it's called, but it's where we launch from, so it's our launch nation. Uh, let me orient myself a little bit better here. So I'm facing in the direction I should actually be heading. Ah, a little bit too much pressure there. Let's correct ourselves and hold. As you can see, I haven't... I think I came in too steep the last time because I actually made the orbit go into the Earth. So I'm going to keep it like this. And sometime around here I should be getting more drag, which will make this shrink a little bit. That's what she said, and uh, and then we'll we'll see how this reentry goes. So uh, I might fast forward this a bit. I might uh, cut out and cut back in when things get interesting. But uh, good luck, Kerman brothers. All right, I'm back, and I brought you back in for the separation of the final stage here, because as you can see, when I switch to the orbital view, uh, it's working. Just the atmosphere, the ass, the <laughs> ass, yeah, the ass. The atmospheric drag is bringing our altitude down, uh, so it should be well, well in advance of of this landmass, I hope, <laughs> uh, so we can land in this ocean, and uh, that'll be our reentry point. So uh, I, I guessed right there. So let me. Um, what do I want to do here? Let me see if this does anything. I want to do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the the RCS thrusters and then hit the disconnect. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that'll help speed the the section away from us. So here we go. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, I don't know if that was any different speed, but uh, let's orient ourselves for reentry now. Ooh, ah, ah, take it easy. Yep. See. There's our uh, our entry point. Well, actually, this is going to shrink some more. Uh, well, either way, uh, we're either going to hit this very tiny peninsula or we're going to land on either side in the ocean. Uh, so hopefully that works out well. There goes our spent rocket. Let me... Oh, oh wrong way. Let me do this. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, there's no re-entry heat in this game yet. They haven't quite figured that in yet because I've never seen any sort of 
I think probably a heat shield is going to be something they're going to add to the game, so I haven't seen any of that yet, so I don't think it matters which which particular direction you re-enter the atmosphere in, but... Oh! Yeah, I guess we're going to land in this part of the ocean, so... Uh, not that specific of a landing, <laughs> but it'll work. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe I should aim for, like, this ocean will end me up in this ocean. Who knows? Alright, here we go. Let me open up the chute. God, again, I did that too early. I think it does it around halfway into this middle blue section. Uh, let me... Oh, okay, yeah, that wasn't too far off. A little bit of G-forces there. It's, it's in drag shoot mode right now. Alright, so... A little bit off. I think our launch pad is right there. That'd be nice to just plunk down right there, but a little bit off, but a little bit closer to home. We're coming back home. Let me actually... Uh, we've done this many times before, so let me fast forward through this. Oh, cannot warp faster than two times while within the atmosphere. That makes sense. We're heading down. Very nice. All our guys are very happy to be home. After a second successful orbital mission testing some of the orbital mechanics, getting a nice round orbit. Uh, so, so, happy days on planet Kerbin. It's a nice sunny day. We're landing in the sunlight today. I don't think the moon's out. No, it's on the other side of the planet. So, yeah. I, 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 a little bit of lag there. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks again. Once again, I'm going to end off the episode here. This is going to be a long episode, I think. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here, and when I rejoin you... We will start our official mission to orbit the moon, or moon, M-U-N, as it is in the Kerbin language. So, I will bid you adieu with the scenic horizon and the successful splashdown. Actually, <laughs> I'm a little bit premature here. Let's take a look at our, our flight statistics. Statistics? Statistics. Uh, this is going to be almost a one-hour flight. Come on, you can do it, guys. Uh, you can also do it computer without crashing, please. And... Splashdown. Very nice. Well done, boys. Well done. And the flight, it was four hours, 57 minutes, three seconds. 385 for the altitude. Not bad. I got a nice circular orbit. Whole bunch of ground distance covered. And I didn't experience that many G's. Okay, that's good. I probably did come in a little bit too steep on that last flight. Uh, so 4.6 G's. That's the way to do it. Uh, but yeah, successful flight. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time, like I said, when we start to head towards the moon. I need to design a much more robust spacecraft because I'm going to need a lot more fuel to make it to and then make it back from the moon. So, so once again, thanks for watching. This has been Kerbal Space Program. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time.